Hello and welcome to the suction box quick start video for V-Ray for Revit. In this video we'll go over how to render section cuts using the section box tool that is built into Revit. Launch Revit and load the project file sectionbox.rvt from the downloaded assets from this tutorial's webpage linked below. You'll be able to use this project with the Revit versions 2016 and up. Open the Render 1 Render view in the Project Browser. We want to cut a section through this view to render it. First, enable the Section Box parameter here in Properties and you'll see it appear. You can use the controls to drag the Section Box to not be quite so large, but what might be easier is to switch to the Level 2 Floor Plan view here and then right-click on Render 1 and select Show Section Box. Now you have it in a bird's eye view of that 3D view section box and you can adjust it accordingly. Adjust the section box to have it intersect the project as you see here right through about the middle of the building. Switch back to the render one view to see how the section is looking. I'll cut out a little bit more here behind the building. Now I'm going to switch to a non 3D view, my floor plan from before. And in the V-Ray tab, I'll change my view to render one. Leave the quality at draft and set the resolution to crop region with printer at DPI of 75 and then click render to see how the section looks. After a little elapsed time I'll stop the render. Now let's look at a hidden advantage to using the section box in other views. Change to render 2 and you'll see that this is an interior view inside the building. In a large project such as this when you're rendering interiors, you can use Section Box tool to limit the amount of data that is being sent to V-Ray to render, which can make rendering more efficient, sometimes even drastically reducing render times with large data sets. Turn on a Section Box for this view, and just like before, go to the Floor Plan view and then right-click on Render 2 and select Show Section Box. Now here's the room we'd like to render. So set the section box to cut through the room as you can see here. Okay, so I've got it where I want it to section the room, but I'd like to set the section vertically as well now. Click on the section line itself to select it and then right click on that selection line and select Go to View. Right click on Render 2 and select Show Section Box and you can click and drag the selection to fit just the room that we want that's the one with the three chairs in it. Go back to the Render 2 view and zoom out with the navigation wheel. You can see it's just the room that we have. Okay, rewind back to the original viewpoint and close the navigation wheel. We're going to go ahead and render this. Set the current view to Render 2 in the V-Ray tab. Set the quality to high since you'll really see the most time savings with a high quality render when you're using the section box workflow like we are now. Let's load the rest of the settings. Click on settings and in the sharing tab click load settings and load the file render2.xml from the downloaded assets for this tutorial and then click import selected. That brings in settings for using a dome light for the environment as well as setting the camera's exposure. I'll go back to a non 3D view, the level 2 floor plan and I'll arrange my project here on the left side of the screen. This is the project with the section view enabled. On the right side of the screen, through the magic of video editing, I'll split in the same project and view but without the section box enabled. I'll be rendering both versions with and without the section boxes and showing them side by side for a comparison of the time savings you can see using this neat workflow. As I elapse the running time for both sides exactly at the same rate, you can see that the render on the left, with the section box enabled, starts the render sooner and actually renders the project a bit faster than the render on the right that does not have the section box enabled. Now I hope you find this to be a useful workflow with your own projects, particularly with larger data sets. Thank you for joining us for this quick start video on using section boxes in V-Ray for Revit.